What's poppin' people? Jay Bear here, bringing you all World Pokemon Federation WTF week number five, our first week, going up against Dashing Sceptile and the Seattle Sigil, if I want to say. But yeah, our first week, we got a lot to prove, especially coming over from BBR, having a couple of successful seasons there. Want to make sure that we aren't cursed in uh, WPF or just blessed in BBR exclusively. But We've got a tough road ahead of us, starting with dashing. In case you didn't catch the draft analysis, I will break down my team and the Terra rules since they are a bit different from BBR. But, team, starting off, we got Qian Pao, Terra All is popular. That's right, WPF does Terra All, no Terra Attack. So I just paid 14 points for this Espothra, and it can Terra Astalize into anything. So, a lot of my matchup and building goes into how do I make an Espothra win? And what can I do to really facilitate that? And you'll see how I build every week. I feel like most weeks it'll be around Espothra. Unless I want like a breaking Espothra if I really don't think the cleaner matchup is good. But I really think that trying to optimize a cleaner Espothra most weeks uh, is a pretty consistent strategy. Then I've got Rotom Wash, Basque Legion. This is both genders of Basque Legion. So I can bring the male or female, depending on if I want stronger physical or special damage. Uh, Don Fan, great spin. Tinkaton, Quilladin, Quilladin, I don't know how you're supposed to say that one. Um, Venomoth, Galarian Zapdos, and Tauros. Going up against Iron Moth that can Terra all into me. I think Terra Grass looks great, or Terra Fire. Those are the main things I'm afraid of, like Terra Grass or Terra Stab. But... I think I built a team that can help me beat Iron Moth, and I think that booster speed could be scary, or agility could be scary. I think it needs a way to get faster than Qian Pao. It also could be a substitute set to try to get around Sucker Punch, or it could, and it could be Terra Water to try to like Drastalize into a resistance to Ice, um, and try to like beat my priority that way, which is good. I feel like it's a bit pressured to try to find an optimal Terra type. Uh, Greninja, which could be Battle Bond, or Protean. Uh, Bronzong, Iron Hands, Round 4 Iron Hands, that mom's a demon. Um, Decidueye, Grimmsnarl, which we dropped for Tinkaton. Um, Staraptor, Salamence, Vigoroth, Muck, and Mudsdale. He's got a bunch of threats down the line. But, um, main things I'm afraid of are Iron Moth, Greninja, Iron Hands, Salamence, um, Grimmsnarl, I think, will be his Espothra counterplay of choice this week, as it is his most sturdy dark. He has a Greninja, but, um, I don't think that's very good at checking Espothra, and spoiler alert, we have a Terra that will very much obliterate Greninja. Um, yeah, and I think he could, like, try to do some flying overload with Staraptor, but... A lot of it does leave him quite weak to Qian Pao, so it'll be interesting to see what he does. Qian Pao has a little bit of 4 Moonslot Syndrome, but that's just because me personally, I really like packing Ice Shard and Sucker Punch if I can on my Qian Pao, but this week it does not look too realistic, um, and I kind of want, you know, a way to hit Greninja. Psychic Fangs is nice if I could fit it here. Unfortunately, I couldn't, but yeah, with all that team talk, let's start talking about my team here exactly and what exactly I am bringing. Starting off with a Qian Pao, that would be the fastest thing in the matchup, bar Scarfers or a Speed Booster. Um, so, we're going to go with Crunch, Sucker Punch, Sacred Sword, and Ice Spinner. I would like to scout Iron Moth, see if it has room for, like, Substitute on, like, a sub Terra Grass set. I think with the Speed Boost could be, like, Booster Energy Speed could be scary. Um, I think that is definitely a set that he could be interested in. That's a White Lily, the Qian Pao. Uh, again, a Cook, I think, has the damage potential. Up next, we got Orchid, our Espathra, Calm Mind, Terra Blast, Sword Power, and Roost. Um, this is meant to help me deal with Grimmsnarl, Thunder Wave, which I think will be his choice for um, how to try to best nullify Espathra. He could also be a Trick Lagging Tail set, so if I have the opportunity, I would like to scout for that. But if I don't, I'll just have to go with it. Unfortunately, Terra Dark was an option as well, but then it was like tough to fit Roost. I need Dazzling Gleam on there as well. Um, and I need obviously a way to hit Bronze on for decent damage, but Terra Blast Electric with Calm Mind and then Stored Power kind of can do that for me. 
um, along with Roost. I really like having Roost on my bulkiest bothers. And we are clear amulet to prevent Grimmsnarl from trying to move around on us, because that could be a turn, right? Where, like, we Terra Electric, right? And Calm Mind on the Thunder Wave. And then he tries to Parting Shot and position, and we hammer another Calm Mind. Um, and that could be game right there, uh, is kind of how I see this. Up next, Specs Basket Legion. I did not decide to, like, do anything about Greninja, because I want to just look at the calc real quick for Specs Basket Legion into Greninja. But in the meantime, while that loads, I will, um, say we didn't need much coverage here. I got Surf and Hydro Pump just in case, and then Aqua Jet for a little bit of priority in case he's like Terra Fire Iron Moth. Um, adaptability Aqua Jets will hit even though I am not at all attack invested. I'm still a minus defense nature. Um, and I've got a little bit of speed and then rest in a good amount of HP and speed to try to live an Iron Moth hit. But um, I figure you guys would like to know this Greninja Calc whilst I um, talk it up. So. Shadow Ball to 2k. Hydro Pump to 75. Um, so yeah, do with that what you will, but we are going to try to use that heavily. Up next is Don Fan. Uh, his hazards didn't seem particularly scary this week, um, aside from Greninja, but I don't think he is going to opt for a hazards Greninja. I think he'll try to go more offensive with it, and so I think EQ, Ice Shard, Stealth Rock, and Knock Off will be my bring this week. Optimal. Um, EQ to solid damage, Ice Shard is great priority into his team, um, knock off to remove items I think is always great on Domfan because it gets those turns to really click that knock, and then rocks, and this is my main counterplay to a scary Iron Hands or like immense, um, it's just gonna kind of be interesting with how I decide to try to fit it around. Up next, Tinkaton with Akaberry, I decided Akaberry would help me most with, um, the... Iron Moth, or like a special Salamence, which he could very much definitely bring. Um, and then Sword Stance actually does a lot, and I'm max HP, max attack, because on the Sword Stances you really need that type of damage. But Sword Stance boosted Gigaton Hammers look great, Knock Off obviously is great. We've got some good Knock on this team, which I really do value. And then play Rough to get some good damage on turns where we don't have a Gigaton Hammer available to us. And lastly, Rotom Wash, fully specially defensive, will be the initial Iron Moth Pivot. Thunder Wave, Volt Switch, Hyper Pump, and Foul Play is the moveset of choice. And with that in mind, um, Foul Play was nice for those physical attackers. Thunder Wave to really slow things down. Volt Switch, keep up momentum with this Rotom Wash. And then Hydro Pump for that huge damage. Just kidding, it's not going to be super big damage just because we are the fully specially defensive, no investment in our special attack, but it'll be fine. And then, yeah, we'll obviously keep up momentum. Ground type is Mudsdale, should not be ever coming in on us unless he wants to, you know, stuff a Volt Switch. In which case, if he goes hard Mudsdale on this Rotom Wash, I'm Volt Switching twice. Um, yeah. Especially after I've revealed lefties to, like, to, like he doesn't even, like, have a chance of thinking I'm choiced. Um, but yeah, that is the squad. Let me know what you guys think, and I will see you guys in the battle. Alright, and we are connected to dashing. Let's uh, let's get into this. I don't have a lead planned, but what he could lead, I could see a lot of stuff that Rotom leads pretty well into. So I'm happy to lead Rotom, I think. I expect like a potential like Greninja, Iron Hands maybe coming out in the lead slot, and Rotom is fine to just lead and Volt on those, maybe even Bronzong. If it's Bronzong I can get Legion in, and I can hammer like Hydro or something, get a kill, try to force that. Um, but yeah, it'll be interesting to see what Dashing decides to, decides to go for. Um, first game with this team, you know, you always got those like first game jitters, but I... I think I feel pretty okay with uh, with the six that I'm seeing. Well, I can go ahead and throw on the layout for you all, but yeah, I think I feel pretty good. So yeah, good luck, have fun to dashing, and uh, let's see what we can do here. The Grim Snarl, which is fine. Could see some screens gameplay here. 
Um, kind of wish I had better screens counterplay looking back at it, but I can I can vault into my Tinkaton, I think. Um, yeah, I think Volt into Tink is pretty good, and apply a lot of pressure with Tink right away. I can, like, start knocking off items, I can Sword Stance, do plenty of different stuff with this Tinkaton. Um, cause he doesn't really have good stabs plus knockoff resists. Um, like, technically Iron Moth can, but then it's, like, still taking a plus two Gigaton Hammer does not appreciate. He just parting shots, that's fine, he does not have a ground type, so we will stay ahead on the momentum game. And yeah, I figured screens from him doesn't truly make a lot of sense in this matchup, so... Let's see what he wants to do, where he wants to go. Probably Iron Hands would be my guess, which means I can go Dawn Fan and get my rocks. Ah, uh, he goes Bronze off. So, probably gonna do like 2 damage with this Volt Switch. Yeah, um, but I can get in my Legion now. It's Legion season, baby. It is Legion season. Um, so, how much does, I feel like Surf is my click, I think I 2 a KO everything, um, other than Hard Mence, but Hard Mence doesn't want to come in on a Spec Shadow Ball, um, yeah, I think I can click Surf here very freely, he switches, as expected, into the Grim Snarl. yeah, okay, that's great, this is gonna be an incredible chip, um, Legion Season. Yeah, okay, that's a great chip. Um, he's left these on here, that's great. That means he's not trick lagging tail. Um, I'm fine if I get thunder waved on this guy. I can just hit another surf. Um, yeah, I can just hit another surf um, pretty easily. Um, he could be really fast and be faster. He could parting shot out into like Mence. Um, but I think I feel pretty good. Um, curious to see what kind of events he is, if he's like a Moxie Dragon Dancing set, but I always have Chan Pao Ice Shard to revenge that thing from pretty much anywhere. Okay, so he just Light Screen up, so that should still die or come pretty close to it. Um, okay, so we will have to play with Light Screen and Reflect up, unfortunately, but it is Leftovers, not Light Clay, so it'll only be for a few turns. Um, and I'm confident I can last against any one of these mons that he has for a few turns. Might not be happy to do it, but I can. He could also parting shot hard, but that would mean no reflect goes up, which is nice. Um, yeah, he could do that. Leap Grimstorm and back as fodder, potentially like T wave bait, but that is um within Rock's range of death. And I have rocks on my Dawn fan, so if he ever goes Iron Hands, I'll get rocks up. Okay, he just chose to attack. But we are faster, and so down goes the uh, Groom Snarl. Yeah, down goes Groom Snarl. That's great. Um. See in three more turns of light screen, Gren comes in. I can either go Tinkaton or Rotom. I like having my Rotom healthier for the um I have my Rotom healthier for the Iron Moth, I think. So I will go into my Tinkaton. Um later in the game, like this is a turn where it's like if Gren is at like 60, I can just surf it later. Because this basket lesion damage is crazy. Okay, we see, um, we could see hazards come out. I don't have removal this week on my Dawn fan. He just pumps, we should munch this. That is not a munch, that is life orb. Um, what do I want to do about that? I think I pivot Rotom and then potentially bat? I don't know. I feel like I'm gonna have to let something go here, unfortunately, but... Huh, yeah. Probably gonna have to let something go. My... Chen Pao can always revenge it, which is nice.
He swaps. Okay, so that's actually pretty good for me. Uh, he has to fear Scarf, I guess. But yeah. Bronzon comes out. Um, we, uh, we withdraw Petunia. Send out Hibiscus. And now, he's in a position where he can throw rocks up. Um, and I can't really do much about that, but I can just Volt for free, get in my Legion. Um, yeah, and I can find out if he's like lefties on here or something. Yeah, and now Shadow Ball's a very free click. Rocks go up, that's fine. I'm happy to play with rocks. Um, Rotom definitely doesn't appreciate them, but other than that, Light Screen's gone, we should get a kill here with uh, Shadow Ball. Unless he goes hard Gren, in which case, that's fine. I can trade my um, Legion away, I think. I think that's fine for me to do. Probably die to Life Orb. Um, Gren from full, I'm, yeah. But Rose is doing her job. Oh, we just shot a ball. Here to throw him off. He's really playing, like, unconscious of the fact that Espothra is, like, eerily ready to sweep him. Like, Electric Espothra, I need one turn in on, like, Iron Hands to Calm Mind. Which is very doable, especially if he, if he goes Iron Hands now, I just sack uh, this guy and I can uh, set up. Yeah, Gren comes out. Um, I'm just gonna Shadow Ball here. I think I have to sack. That's fine though. This thing definitely did its job of being the early game breaker, but I don't really have many easy opportunities to get it in from here on out. So yeah, he just Dark Pulses makes a very good play. Oh, he did. Huge, 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 huge. He takes Life Orb. He'll take a fat Shadow Ball. Um, yeah, this will be great damage. Okay, cool. And now he'll have to take another round of Life Orb too. Um, I died to rocks at this point, so it doesn't really make sense to hold on to this. Um, but that's great. That's a great live. Because um, I did pack some amount of Spadaf. Okay, so he has Surf and Hydro. So it probably means he doesn't have room for uh, Shuriken, which is great. Um, yeah. Oh, he's Battle Bonds. Um, that's fine. I have Shard on my Chin Pal. Um... Yeah, I forgot about Battle Bonds. That's still fine. Or I have Sucker Punch on here, not Shard. But that's fine. If he has Shuriken, he'll show me Shuriken. Um, and then I can, like, go from there. I should still live out to Shuriken. Um, I would trade, basically, because of Life Orb, but that's fine. I can go for my Sucker Punch. Yeah. Okay, cool. So we get rid of the Gret. That's great. That Mon was a big threat, as you guys could tell. I was kind of running out of ways to switch into it. So... Yeah. If he goes Iron Hands, which he does, I can just go into my Dawn Fan, that's Helmet, and then I can go for a knockoff, and that should put him put me into a really really good position um if he's like bulk up i should still be fine given i have like sacred sword on my chin pal and you know ways around that stuff so i i would like to start compounding speed boosts with my espothra as soon as possible is the only thing to get faster than iron moth but he subs that's fine i can earthquake here yeah, he could be sub drum, but he's lefty, so he's not Selac Berry. Even if he was Selac Berry, like, that's not faster than anything. Um, yeah. Oh, Earthquake. He's sub SD, and he's faster than me. That's fine. Um, yeah, that's fine. Might have to... I should still live a hit, honestly. I'm a Dawn fan. I'm a physically defensive Dawn fan. Um, I should munch a hit. He'll take Helmet. And then get going uh, with an earthquake. Yeah. 
Yeah, that, that works. I'm an Earthquake here. Dawn Fan's great. Drain Punch, that's fine. Like, I munch that relatively easily. He'll take... He'll heal, take Helmet, take Earthquake. Um... He should live in Earthquake. This Mon is really fat, but... Okay, that's good damage. Um... And then I'm pretty, pretty sure I die to the next Drain Punch. So I'm at 360, and I'm at 161. Yeah, I die, so I'll get off Shard Chip. Um, yeah. So he gets off a Drain Punch. That's fine. Um, I don't have the immediate damage on... Uh, what's his name? With my... Um, Espothra this week. If I did, that would have been really good. But since I don't, I think I have to go into... I think I go in... Yeah, I think I... This shouldn't let anything set up too, uh, too much. So who died? Dawn fan died. He did his job. Um, yeah. I can just play rough. If he goes Iron Moth, he goes Iron Moth, that's fine. Because then I can just uh, Gigaton Hammer it. Although, actually... do Okay, we just play rough. Take this guy out. That's fine. Um, and then, he'll have to show me a Terra type on Iron Moth. And if he's Speed Booster Energy um, as well. I wish I got rocks up at this point, because that would have been nice to get the damage. He sends out Mence. Mence is fine to see, actually. I can just... Can't let it set up a Dragon Dance, so I can... I can play rough it. That'll put it in range of Chien Pao um, damage. Policy. No. Okay, cool. Cool. So now Tinkerton goes down. I wish I had Ice Shard at this point. That was definitely like a consideration on my end. Um, and he didn't show Intim, so he has Moxie. He EQs. Um, yeah. So I think I'm gonna go Chien Pao and I've showed Sucker Punch. I think he should realize that I can't fit uh, Shard as well. And I'm gonna Ice Spinner. I think I'm gonna Ice Spinner. Yeah, I'm gonna Ice Spinner. He Dragon Claws, I should've just suckered it. I'm so dumb. Overplaying right there. Why? Don't even go for the Sucker Mind game, like, you just, I, I guess. Okay, so, I have to go Rotom and live, but I'm like fully Spadef, so I don't. Especially after that. Yeah, that's dumb. And I Thunder Wave, I have to. That was dumb. Yeah, that was really, really stupid on my end. Like, I should have soccered, but like, if it roosted, then like it would have won. And like, it only needed Dragon Claw Earthquake. Yeah, that's game. That's. It is what it is. Um. Yeah. Come back next week. I guess. And win, but like, yeah. That's dumb. Terra Blast, not gonna Terra, EQs. Yeah. Oh well, that. Not happy about that, but. It is what it is. Good game. Um, yeah. Definitely overplayed there. But. Yeah. That is what it is. See you all next week. Bye.